Welcome back guys. Well, when we talk about gaming, people from all the age groups love to play games. There are various genres of games available starting from sports, strategy, action and adventure. Well, if you remember of those good old days, games were only limited to the consoles such as the PlayStation and the Xbox One. Or else you had to choose a good configuration computer or you have to build one for yourself to enjoy some good games. But the only bad thing about the consoles was that those consoles were meant for only playing games and not for any other thing. And if you wish to build a computer which can handle all the good titles, then you had to invest a good amount of money in that. But in today's date, choosing a gaming platform is not an issue anymore. Well, with the development of the mobile operating systems, it's not an issue anymore to choose a good gaming platform. There were various mobile operating systems which came into the market and out of them Android won. Well, do you know why? Because Android was the only open source mobile operating system available out there. Well, the iOS from Apple which is still competing in the market and the Windows Phone operating system which is outdated nowadays. The main reason for these operating systems to fail was they were not available as an open source project. If you talk about Android, Android is based upon a Linux kernel and it is completely open for any manufacturer to use it, to customize it according to the user's need and to use it on a variety of devices. Well, Android is not only limited to any specific architecture or any specific hardware. Recently, if you might have noticed that Android games are getting more popular than any other console games or the PC games. And even the modern PC titles are rolling out for the Android devices. But today, unfortunately, if you want to play some good titles on your PC or your laptop, then these games require a good hardware configuration. And if you have an old laptop or a PC with a old configuration, then those may not be able to handle all the latest titles. Well, does that mean that you will not be able to enjoy all the latest games? Well, if you talk about the Android operating system, almost all the modern titles are rolling out for the Android versions as well. And when we talk about Android games, then the biggest advantage of the Android games is that they do not require a very high configuration. If you might have noticed that most of the Android devices which are rolling out today and most of them are in the budget segment and the configuration which these devices are offering are quite good enough to handle almost all the Android games available in the Play Store. But again, these are having a major drawback and that is you cannot enjoy the games for a prolonged period of time. That is most of the budget Android devices after gaming for an hour or two tend to get heated up and the processor goes into a thermal throttling. Well, by thermal throttling, I mean that when the Android device starts heating up, then the operating system starts to shutting down some of the cores and as a result, the game will start lagging and you will experience some of the dropped frames in the game. Well, apart from this, the device also tends to get too much heated up and it becomes quite hard to hold the device in your hand. Well, in this case, a laptop or a PC, even with the old hardware, performs much better than this Android devices. Well, in a laptop or a PC, you'll be getting a constant power supply and also there is a dedicated fan to keep the processor cool and prevent games from lagging due to thermal throttling. So, as I have told earlier that Android is an open source and it can be deployed on a variety of hardware, this Android operating system can be modified according to the user's need as well. And so, an operating system which is PrimeOS based upon Android Nougat version has been rolled out for laptops and PCs. Well, this operating system is available in ISO format and you can easily install it on your laptop or PC just like any other Windows or Linux operating system. So, we shall not be wasting any more time and we'll be jumping into the installation process of this brilliant operating system which is mainly focused for gaming in Android. So, as I have told you earlier that the Android operating system is based upon Linux kernel, so the partition on which we'll be installing this Prime OS has to be formatted into a Linux compatible partition and that is in ext4 format. So, we are inside the VMware Workstation 15 and to install the Prime OS, first of all you need to create a new virtual machine and let us just keep it recommended and I will install the operating system later, click on next and since it is a Linux version, uh, so I will be keeping it on Linux, click on next, let us, let us name it as Prime OS. click on next and make sure this location is set to the partition on which you wish to install the prime OS. and since i'm using a virtual machine and i'll be using the ssd of my laptop to install the prime OS upon 
and if you wish to install it on a separate partition suppose your c drive doesn't have enough space then you can just go ahead and click on browse and select that particular location clicking on next and i'll be allotting around 20 gb to it that will be good enough click on next and before that let me just customize the hardware and over here the memory allocation this is a critical part you need to allocate sufficient amount of ram towards the operating system so that it can run smoothly well make sure to leave a uh, uh, well, make sure to leave some amount of RAM for your host operating system with this Windows machine which will be running this virtual machine. So since my laptop has a maximum of 16 GB of RAM so I can easily allot more than 2 GB up to 4 GB maybe and even if I want I can uh, give it 8 GB. So if your laptop does have around 4 GB of RAM then you can allot a maximum of 2 GB to the Android operating system and if your laptop is a very old one and it has and it is having just 2 GB of RAM then make sure not to allot more than 1 GB to that so basically the uh, rule is that not more than 50% of your host RAM can be allotted to the virtual machine and apart from that in the processors let me keep it the number of processors as 1 and the number of cores let me increase it to 2 so this is also a critical part this VMware workstation needs at least a dual core processor to run upon so if your processor is a very old one then don't try to install it in VMware rather do a dual boot and install the Prime OS as a separate operating system on a separate partition and apart from that I do not need to modify anything else and as the network adapter I shall be using it as NAT let's see if the internet connection is coming or not in the prime OS and all other things let it remain as it is let's click on close and finish now here it is the prime OS is over here then again let's go to edit virtual machine settings and over here is the CD DVD drive let's click on it and use an ISO image file so now we'll be browsing to the download of the prime OS ISO file that is in my downloads section here it is the prime OS this is the 32 bit version uh, it is better to download the 32 bit because it is more stable and let's click on open after that just click on ok and now let's power on this virtual machine so as you can see as I have told you earlier that this is the prime OS is a Linux distribution so uh, the, as you all know that Linux distributions can be run as a live CD so this prime OS can also be run as a live CD but instead but instead of running it as a live CD we shall be choosing to install it and as you have and as we have already created a separate 20 GB partition for the Prime OS, that partition is showing up here. Just select it and click on OK. Well, in the virtual machine, this is since this is the DOS mode, we have to use the keyboard controls to navigate over here. And here we have to select a format to format that disk. And the ext4 is a Linux file format which I shall be selecting for the Prime OS. And are you sure to format the partition? Yes. And formatting partition is tier one. Do you want to install bootloader grub? We have to select yes. And warning, this is a dangerous operation. Okay. Uh, the legacy grub can't be installed to GPT. Do you want to convert it to MBR? Okay. Let's click yes. Read right. Okay. Well, the good thing about you know, using a virtual machine to experiment with various operating systems is that even if you go something wrong in this, like if you, if you do not know how to exactly select which format and how to exactly proceed in the installation procedure, then there's nothing to worry about because nothing can go wrong over here since uh, everything is happening virtually on a virtual partition. So even if you go wrong, you can simply revert back your changes while if you go for dual booting your device with a bootable pen drive then by chance if you select any wrong partition or for some wrong option or any wrong option then if you do not have a good troubleshooting knowledge then you shall be stuck with a 
non-working computer so if your hardware supports a virtual machine then i would recommend you to use the vmware to install any kind of third party operating systems so that your basic operating system or the host operating system is running well so since we can see here prime os is installed successfully as you can see it was a very small procedure while the operating system gets installed in the meantime let me tell you why prime os is a better operating system when compared to any other pc version of android operating system well you might have heard about previous versions of the android operating system which has been rolled out for pcs as well like the remix os but the prime os has been redesigned and the best part of this operating system is that this operating system is mainly focused for gamers and all the touch controls which most of the games use has been remapped to the keyboard and the mouse control it is worth mentioning that with the prime os you will experience a bigger screen and also better game controls with the hardware keyboard and the mouse and apart from that there will be no thermal throttling and you will be getting a better performance and another important feature which this prime os will be offering you is that you can easily tweak the gpu and the cpu of the android device there are some games which demand a specific brand of gpu or a specific brand of cpu and might be the mobile device which you are having in your hand will not be able to support that game so in that case the prime os offers you an option to change the gpu manufacturer or the cpu manufacturer according to the game's requirement so that is a good feature added to this operating system as well so now as you can see this is a complete android experience but completely customized to be used on a desktop so let me just quickly find out where the settings is okay here is the settings if we scroll down okay i have to click on it and then drag upward to scroll down here it is about device full screen it so the prime os version is 3.1 beta 32 bit and android security patch is quite old one i hope i will receive some updates very soon and the build number is android x86 7.1.2 nougat so that is all about installing the prime os based on the android nougat version on your laptop or pc I hope you like this video. If you did like it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also share this video with all your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel along with pressing the bell icon beside it so that you never miss an awesome tech update from my side. See you in my next video. Till then, goodbye.